Oh, Chica in the back. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> Foxy! <laughs> hey, it's Zach. Y'all remember that FNAF series that we checked out a little bit ago on the channel? Well, Scepter just released a new one called Police Archive. And this one looks like it's about Foxy. And y'all know that's my favorite FNAF character. Dude, I did a backflip in my chair, and I was like, bro, we gotta sit down and watch this today. But first, shake my hand, as always, and let's hit play. Foxy, Foxy, come out to play. I mean, the thumbnail is Foxy, so it better be about that motherfucker right there. All right, let's go. All right, listen. I'm listening, bro. You've got my full attention. Hello, gentlemen. I'm Special Agent Edwards of the FBI. This is my partner, Agent Wallace. Glad to meet you two. I'm Detective William Bradley. I'm in charge of this investigation, and this is the police sergeant, David Miller. Okay. Please, take a seat. Okay. His name is Agent Wallace, bro. I cannot right, take that so, serious. Uh, go ahead and give us the rundown on this case. Everything you guys know and everything you guys are suspicious of. If I'm not mistaken, this is a case of a serial murder. Is that correct? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. As well as theft and bribery, among others. Now, this relates back to a string of disappearances that started popping up about a year ago, all relating back to a kid's entertainment company called Fast Bear Entertainment. Yeah, This yep. first case involves a man named Sean Roberts, whose family told us was a paranormal investigator. <gasps> On the night of August 19th, 1985, around 2 o'clock, he was hired to look into the company's supernatural occurrences. However, his family reported that same morning that he hadn't come home and has been yep. missing ever since. So that's what happened at the end of that last one was we were investigating inside the pizzeria, and then William Afton came out and fucked us up with a damn shotgun, man! Which was a fun ending, for sure. Now, originally we suspected that he had been kidnapped, but uh, witnesses who lived close to the restaurant strip mall lead us to believe a different story. They reported hearing a lot of gunshots. Some recognized it as a shotgun blast yep. that came from the parking lot during the night. When we arrived on scene after a disturbance call about it that evening, we found a shattered glass from a broken window pane that landed on the outside of the building. Y'all remember that? We did manage to find a small blood sample on the ground as well as fingerprints off the victim's equipment, confirming that this was him and he had indeed been murdered. Mm -hmm. However, we found nothing giving us any idea of who the actual killer was. So we asked the company if they might have caught the event on camera. Their response was that Mr. Roberts had requested that the building's power be shut off and that the building's entrance doors be unlocked for him to enter. Oh my gosh, so, of course. the prospect of literally anybody being able to enter the building at any time, Nobody could exactly prove that the company itself was involved. So yeah, yeah. We eventually just passed this case off as some crack job who stumbled on the unlocked door, figured he'd try to score himself a payday by robbing the place. Saw Mr. Roberts approaching the building and then shot him through the window to ensure no witnesses. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, he spent the rest of the time before we got there doing the best to clean up after himself. And then another case came up about a few months after that, on March 15th, 1986. The family of a mechanic for Afton Robotics, their LLC sister company, filed a report about their missing son, Matthew Walker. Again, uh -huh. we arrived at the restaurant and found no tangible evidence of a crime that was committed, so the second time we asked if the company had any idea about this event, or again, had maybe caught it on camera. Again, they said no, and when they looked back at the camera footage, it cuts off about the time that it could have happened. So oh, they yeah! The power had randomly shut off. Yeah! So again, nobody at the time could prove they were responsible for his disappearances, but I think we both know lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice. For sure. So we kept a closer eye on him this time. Damn. Y'all remember that one? The smoking gun case that told us something fishy was going on was uh, the disappearance of Jacob Carter, who was uh -huh. hired for the company. Yeah. And reported missing after he didn't come back for his first night shift on October 29th. That was the first episode. Again, no evidence of a crime could be found anywhere, but this time when we asked the company for the footage, they agreed, but discovered it had, quote, mysteriously gone missing as soon as they went to the Oh, uh, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah bro. Here. Okay. Three missing people are gone without a trace, and a suspiciously uncooperative company are seemingly covering up these incidents. Yeah. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Do also bear in mind that all of this is on top of four extra missing kids cases relating to the company as well. Uh-huh. I uh, unfortunately don't have the documents on hand with me right now since they were just requested by our CSIs a few minutes before this, but what I do still have is everything that happened afterwards, which is pretty much just shows that all these cases resulted in successful lawsuits by their respective families, costing the company millions in reparations and bringing them closer to Damn. bankruptcy. Damn. Damn. I see. What about this guy you caught last night? How does he fit into all this? <clears throat> well, as of now, he's confessed to being the one responsible for everything we just mentioned. What? In front of you is everything we could find on him in our archives. Uh, 
He confessed that he murdered the four kids, Gabriel Martin, Jeremy and Susie Collins, and finally Fritz Robinson. What? Well, the additional three cases we just talked about, claiming that they were too close to discovering the truth. Uh, which is? Well, that's the other thing. He's been real picky about which questions he answers. We asked where the bodies were, he said nothing. We asked how long he's been doing this, he said nothing. And he's even avoided questions just relating to his side of the story. Not sure why he wants to still keep secrets from us now, even after letting the cat out of the bag. It sounds like a cover up, man. Uh, I feel like Afton's like got something on him. He's like, yo, you go and you confess because uh, uh, <laughs> this does not add up. Also, his responses don't seem very genuine. No, don't seem genuine. Are you sure he's not just trying to throw you guys off? Agent Edwards, I've served with this police department sergeant for 25 years. I know when people are lying to my face. Well, if there's a confession, then this sounds like an open and shut case to me. So what are you guys trying to say right now? Well, we just think the situation is a bit too good to be true. A guy gets away with seven murders and now all of a sudden decides to stop hiding his tracks? Yeah, it was no. too easy to catch him. No. I'll say, son of a bitch pretty much cuffed himself. Didn't yeah. try to fight, resist, escape, nothing. So what? Maybe he felt guilty and turned himself in. No. Thought I could pull a fast one on us last night and we got him. Come on, bro. You're an All investigator, bro. There could be more to this case than was immediately apparent. Put two and two could together. Be parts of this that we don't know or aren't seeing quite yet. Well, unfortunately, the court doesn't care about could be's. They're only concerned about what we can prove. Now, is there anything else you haven't shown us yet that proves these claims more broadly? Yeah, let's see something. There is one thing. Okay. That's another major reason we brought you guys in. One of our officers managed to record the whole ordeal that happened last night. However,. There are definitely parts of this tape that we cannot show to the public. Okay. At least not yet. Well, let me All see. Right, let me see. Show us what you got. I'm sick of staring at a black screen, man. Let's get something going. Damn. Here we go. Finally, into the meat of the episode, hopefully. Foxy, Foxy. Is that camera rolling? Oh, here Let's we go. Let's see. Yep. It says recording. Yep. All right. Good. Should be coming up on them fairly soon. Okay. Which way are they heading? Should be the same direction we're going, just not exactly sure how far up they are. Keep an eye on both sides, though. Who's who? Who are we looking for? Oh. Oh shit! Is that them? Hey guys. Might be. It looks like it fits the bill. Yeah. Why the hell are they driving so slow? Hmm. I don't know. They're probably trying to decide what to do. Let's go ahead and photo it in now before they try something. Three Echo Ten to dispatch over. Okay, so what's in the back of that truck? Yeah, we got a possible jackpot in that Bolo Fortnite to need to white GMC you box say truck. Fortnite? Currently heading northbound on 99. Roger, ready for the play detail. That LP is going to be Juliet Golf Kilo 245. That's Juliet Golf Kilo 245. Mm. And it's a Wisconsin plate over. Three Town, that's a positive ID. Vehicle was reported stolen from a rental service a few days ago and is now involved with an ongoing investigation. Mm. Multiple units reported seeing a brand logo on the side of the vehicle, though. So the vehicle may be bought by the company, and this report may be a mistake. We pretty much just need to figure out if they actually own the vehicle or not. Okay. 10 for dispatch. Thanks for the assist. So they stole All this right. vehicle. Let's Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, let's get it going. But... But what, okay, what are they transporting? Is Foxy in the back of that thing? I'll start crying, y'all. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna walk over to the driver's side, and tell what's going on, see if we can get this squared away. Okay. So time be ready to back me up, all right? All yes, right. sir. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, excuse me, I'm Officer Zach. Would y'all let me pull you over? Even if I didn't have a license? How are you guys doing this evening? Alright, my name is Officer Dale. May I see the keys to the truck, please? Just want to make sure you don't take off and run on me now. I feel like I'm watching a live leak video, y'all. <laughs> this is not gonna Thank go you well. Alright, do you know why I stopped you just now? Because this van is well, stolen? there's a bolo, or be on the lookout for this particular model of vehicle. Now, I ran your plane just now, and my dispatcher told me that this vehicle was reported stolen by a rental service. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Bye, like, bitch. Yeah. I wish I could hear what he's saying. Well, I mean, this looks to be y'all's vehicle, so uh, I'm 
I mean, I'm not gonna assume anything, right? He, you know how companies like to make shit up all the time so you can rip people off, you know? What? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, let's see if we can get this figured out. Okay. You have license registration on you? Uh, not with me, sir. Perfect. Oh, okay. I assume this is a commercial vehicle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. You got your license for that. Alright, let me go ahead and rerun the stuff and see if we can get this issue squared away. No, right. you, you don't gotta do that, right, sir. Sit tight for me. No, no, just let me. Okay. Officer! My, my wife, she's giving birth. Okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> So he's gonna rerun everything. You might follow the same for me. I'm gonna take care of the registration out here so I can keep an eye on them. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Three Echo 10 to dispatch. Damn. Three Echo 10, what you got? Got a commercial license I need you to check out for me. Ready for the details. License number is gonna be 126-266-79. That's 126-266. Two six six seven nine. First name Oscar, last name Master. M A S T E R. He's a thirty-four year old white male with short brownish black hair. Over. Oscar Master. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, I'm not coming up with anything. Can I get a ten on the number? One two six two six six seven nine. Is that a fake license? Is it William Afton in the truck? I got no one listed under that name. Is it expired? Negative dispatch. License says it'll expire in 92. Roger. It might be a false ID. Description sounds familiar, so they might be the guys the other unit saw. Hmm. Well, they seem to be acting pretty calm pulling something like this, but... I'll tell my partner and we'll bring him in. Thanks for the help. Because they know they got backup in the back of the truck. Yeah, cool. <laughs> hey, Daryl. Yeah, what's up? This is a fake ID. Shit, really? Just read the details to dispatch twice and they came up with nothing both times. Well, is it expired? No, look, it says it expires in 92. Damn. Okay, then. All right, I'm gonna get the driver out in a cuffs. Go ahead and walk around back and make sure his friend doesn't take off running. Okay, will do. Yeah, Oscar, release the animatronic. <laughs> like, let's get it going, bruh. Let's open up that, because I know something's in there. They're hey, transporting man, something. Step out, of the vehicle for step out hey, Oscar. Your friend? Shots fired! Daryl! We got an officer down. Shots fired! Daryl! Oh my, Oscar fucking killed him. Three, okay. Officer down. Shots fired! Oscar. Don't move. What, Don't who move the fuck hand. is that? Now. Who the fuck is that? Step out of the truck. Oh, cheek on the back. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, that was sick, bro. Come on, that's what I was hoping what for. Now? Just stick to the plan. Come on, Oscar. Let's go, bro. Let's get out. Why am I on the side of them, bro? Like, yes, the guy. Get on, dude. I love this guy. I'm sorry. Get going, Fox. Get going, Fox. Let's go, y'all. That was the bet. That was sick. I'm sorry. He got him. He got him. What the fuck? Fox, you didn't kill this motherfucker? Bro? What? Watch Sheikah come out. The echo tend to dispatch. <coughs> dispatch, can you read me? He, he probably broke his microphone. Can anyone hear me right now? Come on, Chica. Wake up. Oh, fucking great. Bonnie, wake up. One of y'all, wake up. Please? Daryl! Daryl's fucking Darryl, dead, bro. Yeah. No, oh, see the puddle of blood? Ah. I'll make him fucking pay for this. Ah, damn it. This is 3 Echo 10. I got an officer down on 999 North. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. Oh, Over. he's using his radio. Hopefully he didn't get shot. Does anyone read me? It got shot. <laughs> ah, freedom's busted too. Damn. Fuck. Get in your car. Let's get out of here, bro. <laughs> this fucking running, bro. Let's go. God damn it, Daryl. The one time we need a spare. Hug. Hug. All right. Think. Think. Um. Think. I'm not that far from the city, so someone must have heard all this. 
Uh, I mean... Where the hell they go? They ran off into the woods, bro. Why didn't they just take off in the truck? Because they know you're on well, to they're them. they're on something. They have to be. Yeah. You're not going to... Is this thing still rolling? You're not going to follow them, are you? Oh, shit, it is. Oh, shit. Okay. Wonderful. Don't fucking turn it off! I want to see what happens Let's next. Let's see if I can find out where they went. Oh my gosh, she's taking right. it into the forest. It looks like they went off the right in this direction. So let's see if I can catch up to them. Guys? I don't care what that thing is. No one's getting away from me that easily. Bro. Not after what they did tonight. I am so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. Come on, Foxy. We know he's... We know, sorry for you. We know he's waiting there somewhere in the trees. Damn. What is this place? Uh, Looks abandoned. Yeah, it or does. At least pretty run down. I feel like we're playing Slenderman right now. It's gotta be a mall or something. There's a page! The hell are they doing in a place like this? In a mall? An abandoned mall? I don't know, but that sounds sick! Let's get it this going! This must be where they broke in. Yeah. Or at least where someone broke in. Dude, he's gonna be hunting Foxy in an abandoned mall? That sounds like a recipe for disaster, dude. But let's go ahead. He really had the nerves to say, I don't care what that thing Jesus. is. This place definitely looks bigger on the inside. Yeah. I mean, it looks fairly intact, but my God, did they let this place go. Mm-hmm. Some dope graffiti. I'm not one to, you know, I don't, you know, support vandalization. But I'll point out some dope graffiti when I see it. Foxy? <laughs> These are the old businesses they closed down. Yeah. I mean, no shit. What else would that be, buddy? Architecture looks super retro, though. This place had to be built in, like, the late 60s to early 70s at least. This guy is, like, so nonchalant after his boy Wallace just got shot in the face. Have y'all noticed that? Like, oh, the architecture. Like, bro, I wonder if there's still... Uh... No way! What is that? How is there still power in this place? What the fuck? Well, if there is still power, hopefully the phones here still work. I gotta make sure backup knows I'm here, otherwise they'd be looking everywhere to try and find where the action is. Uh-huh. <laughs> this guy. I think that's a map right there. Let's see if I can find the office buildings. Again, Let's so notched a lot, bruh. Office, office. Uh, ah, here, okay. Second floor on the east side. All right. Let's see if those phones still work. So hopefully I can redirect the cavalry over here to help me catch these guys. All right. Dude, he, Foxy's gonna <laughs> jump down the fucking escalator, bro. Oh my gosh. Where's he hiding? <gasps> Wait. I know y'all heard that. How long until the rest show up? From where we are, it'll take him at least five to 10 minutes, but they don't even know we're here, so we've got time. What if they check here first? Will you quit your fucking bitching and hand me the pliers? Oh, is that? Oh, look at them over there. Ah, uh, I see. They're scrappers. They're scrappers. Oh, I wonder and... what they need all that for, though. Probably to build more damn animatronics. If I had to guess. Now, I see both of y'all. But where the hell is the fox? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, I thought I, I saw him to the right. Open Am the I tripping back. out? I think I'm tripping. Ignore me, y'all. I heard that! Who's there? Nobody. There's nobody here but me. Hey! Who's that? Why the fuck? fuck it. MCPD! Hands up! Now! How the fuck? Oh my gosh, dude! Come on, bro! Come on, bro! Shoot him up! Uh-oh. Something's gonna come out the side. Get him from behind. It's just him! Come on, let's go! Now, hurry up! Have a fucking auto. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> like, bro, you do not stand a chance with that little fucking pistol. 
You guys think this is a fucking game? What am I hearing? Come out with your hands up! It's Foxy. Now! Chill out, bro. You know what that thing can do. Get him, Foxy. What the Sick hell? Sick boy. Jump at him. FNAF 2 style. Holy shit! Yeah! Foxy blows that fucking door down, bro. Come on. Ooh, the noise it's making is fucking disturbing. It's done. Keep moving. Come on, Fox. What the fuck? Nuh uh, that's not gonna work, bro. That's not gonna work. Oh my gosh, it, there he is. Dude, look, are those his eyes? Bro, y'all know he can see in the dark with those shits. How you doing? Listen, sick him. Come on, you're dead, buddy. Foxy, don't tell me you don't see this guy right here. Bro, he's showing him mercy. He's toying with him. He's gotta be. Jesus Christ. God, I hate that thing. I love that thing, I gotta get bro. back up here now. Me and you were not the same. He's going to be back. We all know he's going to be back. That's not it. <laughs> that is not it for him. Oh, come on. What? Oh, he's still trying to find a phone, right? What the fuck is that at the end of the hallway? Yes. There we go. Yes. God damn it. Locked. It's locked. Shoot a fucking... Come on, bro. Let's get going. Kick it down, uh, man. Oh, fuck it. There you go. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, what the f Oh, he's kicking the glass and he's gonna reach in. Don't cut yourself. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, still works. All right, let's send in the cavalry. Guess who's gonna show up at that window? I have a feeling. Come on, come on, pick up. He's gonna be peeking up. Yeah, this is Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD. We got shots fired at Northview Mall, east of I-99 North. I got two armed and dangerous suspects with machine pistols, both in all black and ski masks. Physical description unknown. My partner's down and unresponsive. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. No. This sound like a fucking prank call to you, lady? Both me and my partner's radios are busted. What do you want me to do? Thank God this phone still works, otherwise I'd have no way to reach you guys. How about you give her your fucking badge number? Ah, shit. Come. Just give me some backup, damn it. Is it the... It's those two guys, right? It's not... Did they bring the fox with them? Chris! What? He's still alive! He what? got to one of the phones! Ah, fucking shit. All right, we've only got three more spots after this. We better hit those quick. Where's your robot? I don't know. Try to call it back. Foxy! You know, I'm almost tempted <laughs> to leave that useless piece of shit here. We can't let the cops find it. It's got to come with us. <sighs> don't make me regret this. Why aren't they... What the come hell on, is that? The clock. Why didn't they just... Come search this room, bruh. I'd have been like, he's still there! Get him! But no, they're gonna keep moving. Did y'all hear that, like, high pitch? What was that about? Was that the foxy call? There we go. Alright. Cool. 
my gosh. Oh my god, yeah, there he is. I had a feeling. That scared me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. What the fuck? Okay. There he is! Oh shit! Oh my gosh, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, we shot him! How you like that, you coward? Oh no. Foxy likes the smell of blood. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! It's a wrap! It's not gonna work! How many shots do you have in that pistol? Oh my gosh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Why is he wa why is he walking like that, bro? What was that about? Oh, he got him? Come on, Foxy. We gotta hook him. He just tased Foxy to death. What the hell am I watching right now? Foxy, wake up! I love you! Hey, buddy, you still got two guys behind you. Didn't think that would actually work. Me neither, bruh. Me neither. But it's not that easy. Oh, here comes the helicopter. They actually sent backup. Wonderful. The fucking time. Yeah. Where are those guys at, though? Gentlemen? All right, he said, fuck that. I'm getting the hell out of here. Let's go. He's still bleeding, I think. Bro did get shot, lest we forget. Foxy, make a comeback, bro. It's comeback season. <laughs> Come on, he. I know Foxy can get up from that, bro. A little electrical shot. Freeze! Hands up! Blue! Blue! Don't shoot! I'm with you guys! Identify yourself. Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD! Wait, Clyde? Y yeah! Yeah, Sarge, it's me! Holy shit! Stand down! He's with us! I thought they I thought were gonna we unload you. on him, bro. Why the hell didn't you report in? Both mine and Daryl's radios were busted, sir. Only so much I could do at the time. Managed to find a working phone, and that's how I called you guys in. I see. Where's Daryl, then? Wasted, Sarge. Got shot up pretty bad. I think he's dead. <sighs> Damn it! Alright, where is he? Down by my vehicle, right next to the stolen truck on 99, not too far from here. Pretty sure my lights are still on, so it'll be hard to miss. Go down, secure the part of the highway, and get medical down there as fast as you can. Yes, sir. Alpha Squad, on me! You hurt? I got my head bashed pretty hard and I'm shot in my thigh. Other than that, though, I'll live. That's so can dangerous, bro. I'll try. Alright, good. We need all the help we can get before they escape. What do they look like? Hard to tell. Both of them were in ski masks and all black. It seemed like Daryl got a good look at them with their masks off. Though it's not like he can give you a description of them now. One of them has a machine pistol and I think the other guy's got a regular one. One of them's name is Chris, but I didn't catch the other guy's name. When's the last time you saw him? Down this way. I think they're still here, but we gotta go now. Alright. Bravo! Charlie! Sweep this building! Let's smoke these guys out! The rest of you are on me! Let's move! A shot in the thigh? Aren't there like two major arteries in the thighs, or am I tripping out right now? Wait, he's going back up? Or is this somebody else's body cam? Cause why the fuck, I, guys, we know he's still gonna be alive. Foxy's gonna be up and running. You would think a taser shot? Give me his hands up! All you, you got eyes on. Let me see your hands, drop the gun! Drop the gun and put your hands up! Drop the gun and show us your hands! Alpha one, Al Copy. We're pinned down. The assistant's on the second floor. Fucking kill him already, bro. He's alive and he's supercharged. Y'all know he is. Three neutralized. All units, suspect down. Repeat, suspect eliminated. Whoever took the shot, get hit. It was a clean kill. Remember, he's not alone. Finish clearing this place and fall in with us. It was a We're clean kill. We're not done kill. here yet. It took y'all 30 Any minutes to Any idea where his friend him. might be? I think that answers your question. Fallen! On me! Let's go get him.
Did bro lock himself in a room? Hey! Open the door! Police department, come out with your hands up! I can't have the door stuck! I can't open it! Hands up now! Face the wall on your fucking knees! Okay. Is he- What's your name? Identify yourself. Henry. Henry Emily. <laughs> huh? Bro, Henry! The fuck? Oh my gosh, dude. I was hoping Foxy was gonna come back, like, like supercharged. That was hype. Dude, huge shout out to Scepter, man. Bro does not miss with these. That was so hype. And like, I know we're getting the FNAF movie, hopefully later this year. That's like a nice little taste of what that could be. You know what I'm saying? Go subscribe to Scepter, link in the description. I thoroughly enjoyed this one because y'all know Foxy's my favorite. I, I, I've said that so many times this episode, but I love that motherfucker. Anyway, secret double handshake. And remember that you can do anything you put your mind to. I believe in you. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace.